Hello Novice Reef Keepers, how are you today? Today we are going to talk about CO2 scrubbers. So what is a CO2 scrubber? Let's just jump in and I'll show you exactly what it is. So essentially a CO2 scrubber itself is a, a cylinder unit you see here um, that attaches directly to your skimmer um, and draws air. So in here is where you'll put your actual CO2 media. So what is actually CO2 media? It is soft no lime, which is a like a pelletized, um, it's like a hard powder that's like put into a pellet. And what that does is as the air gets drawn through it, it acts as a filter and absorbs things like CO2 out of the out of the air, giving you pure oxygen in your tank and raising your pH. So I've taken out the CO2 um, scrubber media out of my tank. Um, my pH was 8.4, 8.5 with it in there. But I'll show you the effects with it taken out and then we'll put it in and we'll see what it does putting it back in. So there we go guys, you can see that it's running at about 7.98. So we'll leave it for the day and then we'll look at the graph um, of how it runs throughout the day with no CO2 media and just the um, oversized skimmer. And then we will go put in some more CO2 media back into the reactor. Um, and we'll see how much that changes over a day. So I must add guys, there's also an open door right near the tank, so it's not a closed up house. And the pH is sitting about 8.13, which is in range slightly, but as we all know, higher the pH, better the growth. And I'm just not happy with the 8.13. Throughout the night, it was quite low, 7.92 before the lights turned on. As the lights turned on, we slowly creeped up into the range, 8.15. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to let this run out first of the night. I'm going to put the new CO2 media in and then we're going to see what it is tomorrow. Welcome back. So as you can see, well, we just added the CO2 media last night. Um, it was around the 7.9 mark. Um, and then throughout the night, it did slowly creep up, as you can see. 8.15, 3, 2, 7, 2, 6, 3.0, all the way to currently now at its peak at 8.54. Now, before I did this experiment, I also was running this CO2 media for at least a year. Always run this CO2 media. But I wanted to show you by removing it and showing you how low it would actually be without it. Even with the doors open, running fresh air, it still wasn't enough. Um, to show you this, I'll go back. See, I was always running you know, variously high pH. And then this is when it drastically dropped when I removed the CO2 media which is absolutely horrible. And I think this concludes, why would you not want CO2 scrubbers on your tank? So guys, I hope that really concludes, why would you not run CO2 scrubbers on your tank? Um, we all know the benefits of uh, pH um, being low compared to high and how corals grow much faster, polyp extension is much better. Um, a lot of people worried about going over 8.6 and your pH going too high. Um, unless you're using something like Kalkwasser, I don't think that's really possible unless you're doing it chemically. But if you're really worried, you can pull off that CO2 line for 10, 20 minutes, it will drop down and you can plug it all back up and you'll be right to go. I don't think you'll have any, any worries whatsoever. So if you like happy corals, um, if you like thriving corals and not just surviving corals, if you like all that good stuff then you should get a co2 scrubber see you guys